What up YouTube? This is Ben with the Bearded Spruce. Today I'm going to review the Trailer Valet XL. I'll show you. Um, this came in the mail. This thing lets you move your trailer without a vehicle. Um, pretty awesome. I haven't tried it out yet. Uh, the reviews are pretty great. Um, I'll show you in a little bit a new pad that we got poured in the backyard that uh, the Airstream will rest on while we're working on it nice and close to my shop in the garage but to get it there we need this guy um, to maneuver it through the alley uh, in places that the truck can't quite get it in um, perfectly so let's give this a try it came with a handle that you can use manually um, and then this drill adapter um, I'm not sure the size it's a special fitting so I think you have to get their adapter but luckily it came with it um, and then I'm just going to use my old Ryobi uh, drill here it, uh, it suggests a hammer drill and I just happen to have one um, Kind of an old one so we'll see how it goes but let's uh let's start getting it connected so you can see here i'm starting to figure out how to connect it i'm going to speed up its clip so you don't have to watch me fiddle around with all the different connection points but once i have it lowered you can see there's a sleeve there that i need to loosen so I can get the ball in the right position within the connection point. So once I get it lowered, you can see all the weight is on the ball at that point. Then what you want to do is lift up the trailer, trailer valet so it's off the ground so you can correctly connect the sleeve and then once you have it aligned correctly you can tighten it up with that wrench that's provided and you're pretty much ready to go. So now I lowered it down so all the weight is on the trailer valet. You can see here I'm using the included um, handle on the lowest speed section and then I'm trying the higher speed. There is no wobbling once you have it tightened up. It is sturdy. It's pretty awesome. Let's give the drill a try. If you get it tightened to the, the included bit, um, it is super smooth. I think I'll actually probably make it a little slower because um, it is out of control how fast it goes. Yeah, that's my first attempt. All right, so, so far, after just what you saw, just moving it back and forth a little bit, this thing is going to be perfect for what I need it for. The drill adapter, will be quite nice. I had no problems um, with this Ryobi 18 uh, volt. I'm not sure how long the battery will last, but um, I can always upgrade the drill. So, so this handle is actually a, it kind of locks um, the wheels in place when you disengage this little pin up here. So right when you let go, the whole trailer will stop in its place which is pretty awesome overall I'm super impressed um, there's a there's a smaller version that is a 5,000 pound limit and 500 tongue weight uh, I opted for the little bit more expensive one which is a um, 10,000 pound limit and thousand uh, tongue weight um, I think that will serve me well for not only this Airstream, but future 
uh, trailers that we'll get. Um, it'll be a good test next this next weekend to see if I can make it up this little ramp. Um, but I'll do a, after I use it for a little while, I'll do a more in-depth review. But so far I'm super impressed. Uh, build quality seems awesome. The tires are like never flat, solid rubber, which is much appreciated because it'd be a bummer if the tires went flat and couldn't make it up certain places. But yeah, super impressed. Let's go back to the backyard and I'll show you the new pack. All right, so welcome to the future home of the Airstream. You can see it's about 33 feet wide by 14 feet deep. It'll be the perfect size with some room to spare, hopefully. Um, and then you can see a fire pit area that we got poured since the concrete truck was out here anyway. Uh, we're pretty excited about that as well. And here is the double gate that we built over the weekend so our dog won't run away. Um, you can kind of see through here. Small ramp um, that would be a little interesting to maneuver up uh, with the Airstream, but I think that trailer valet will work really well for us. We're pretty excited to move our Airstream this next weekend. We look forward to giving you an update then. We will show you it in the backyard soon. Hope you join us next time. Thanks.